silky smooth uber soft wontons in an umami rich Chinese broth. Very simple dish guys, but this is the ultimate wonton soup. Okay, wonton noodle soup. This is a dish where there is nowhere to hide. Our wonton has to be perfect. Our broth has to be perfect. And just that little tiny sprinkling of the spring onion at the end, that's the only garnish we have. So I got a couple of tips for you guys for getting everything just right. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the broth. Now I'm cheating a little bit here. I'm using a store-bought chicken stock. It's okay, we're gonna jazz it up. I'm gonna start with some ginger. I just want some slices. That goes into some stock that I've got warming here on the stove. And I want some garlic as well. I just want to crush these guys a little bit. They go in. And then for some really subtle background flavor, I'm gonna add a couple of these spring onions. I'm just gonna bruise them a little bit first to release all of their flavor. Okay, that goes in. And then my secret ingredient is dried shrimp. So these little guys are gonna add some saltiness, some savoriness, just a little hint of background flavor. They're optional, you don't have to use them, but you'll notice the difference if you do. And then for a little bit of seasoning at the beginning, I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of soy sauce. Now I want this to come up to a boil and then I'm gonna reduce the heat down a little bit. Just let it simmer away, bubble away, infuse with all of those flavors for about 20 minutes. If you've got half an hour, that's good as well, but at least 20 minutes. Now we need to make our all important wonton filling. So this needs to be super soft and tender to complement the kind of silky texture of our wonton wrapper. So we don't want a filling that's really firm and really hard. So I've got all the little tips and tricks we need to make that happen. First off, we're gonna start off with some pork mince. And I love a pork and prawn combo, so we're gonna do pork and prawn. Got some prawns here, I just wanna mince these up very fine. I want a little bit of grated ginger. Now, I just take this little piece of ginger and I find it's easy to peel ginger with a spoon and I just want to finely grate that ginger. And I also want some white pepper and a little dash of sesame oil is going to make things even more fragrant. And now here come our bits and pieces that are going to turn our wonton filling into something really soft and smooth. We want chicken stock, quite a lot of it, and an egg. And then to help bind everything together and give us the right texture, I'm gonna add a little bit of corn flour and just add in some salt and then give this a really good mix. And you will notice this is a really wet mixture. It should almost look to the eye like it's too wet. Okay, that's looking good. Now this kind of wet dumpling filling is really only useful when you're doing dumplings or wontons for a soup because you wouldn't want to deep fry these guys because all of that liquid in there would come out in the oil and the dumpling would burst and you'd get oil everywhere and that would not be great for anyone. Uh, so use this kind of wet style filling whenever you're doing a soup kind of dumpling. And now we're at the folding part. So grab yourself a wonton wrapper and just put small amount in the center. The wonton wrappers I tend to buy in Bangkok, they seem to be very small. So it really kind of depends on the size of wonton wrapper that you have as to how much filling you put in here. But you don't want to overfill it. Certainly don't want to underfill it either. But just go by what happens when you go to fold. You'll realize if it's overfilled because all the stuffing will come out. So now fold the corners together and then just press down one side Press down the other side, so we're making a triangle. Now we've got our triangle. And just brush the edges with a little bit of water. And then brush the tip of your triangle with water and fold everything together, two points. And there you have your little wonton. 
Now don't worry too much about your folding skills here guys, with this kind of soupy wonton, uh, it kind of loses its shape a little bit anyway, so don't be too pedantic about it. Now this is going to make a whole bunch of wontons and if you're not going to use them all at once, these freeze really well. I like to freeze them on the tray first and then put them into some bags later. Then I've always got wontons and there's an emergency. It's always a wonton emergency. <laughs> now before we cook our wontons, let's come back and have a look at our soup broth. Now this is smelling amazing. I love that ginger smell. Oh, so comforting. Now I just want to take off any kind of scummy, foamy things that have risen to the surface. And now the final step to make our broth absolutely perfect is the seasoning. So this is totally going to depend on how salty the chicken stock was that you used, maybe even the brand of soy sauce that you used, so it's going to be a little different for everyone. Mm, I love that subtle spring onion flavor. I'm getting the ginger, just a little hint of garlic, and I can tell we've got a really beautiful umami, savory flavor that's come from the soy sauce and the dried shrimp. Ah, so good. All right, does need a little bit of salt though. I don't want to add more soy sauce because I don't want to color the stock too much, but I do want a little bit of extra oomph there. Mmm, and now we have hit the jackpot. That is making everything sing. Beautiful. Yum. Now I just need to strain out my aromatics. Oh, and you won't believe how much flavour has gone into this stock in such a small amount of time. And then pour your broth back into a clean saucepan. Now we can cook our wontons and my biggest tip for you guys is never cook your wontons in the soup that you're going to be serving them in because the wontons have flour around the outside of them. That flour is going to come out in your stock, make it cloudy, make it thick, uh, alter the flavour. These are all things that we don't want. So make sure you've got a pot of boiling water separate to your soup and just add your beautiful little cute little wontons into there. give them a little stir make sure they're not sticking to the bottom and you want to cook these for about three or four minutes or until they're all floating at the surface and the wonton wrapper is beautifully soft and silky and of course the filling is cooked through now these are looking really good yes look at those okay just pop them into a serving bowl and then ladle over that beautiful, hot, savory broth. And then just a final scattering of a few spring onions. And that, my friends, is a little bowl of perfection. Very simple, nowhere to hide, so you've got to get it all right. Let's see how we've gone. Mm. So silky smooth mm. and that beautiful broth and the filling, you, you can't even tell the difference in texture between the beautiful soft wonton wrapper and that really soft filling and that's exactly what you want, the least amount of resistance or you can eat more quicker. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it like that before. <laughs> oh, these are so good guys, can't wait for you to try them. Wow, that's a giant one. Oh. <laughs> that kind of sounded a bit rude. Sorry. 